Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, I wanted to talk about a recent Sam Neill interview in which he touches on his role as Alan Grant in Jurassic Park 3 and also mentions some interesting bits of info about the newest film in the franchise, Jurassic World Dominion. So in promotion for his new film, Rams, which looks like it's going to be a pretty good movie in its own right, Sam Neill has been sitting down with different outlets and talking about his career. And on Rotten Tomatoes of all places, Sam Neill was actually asked some questions about JP3, which ended up tying back into another portion of the interview in which he spoke about some of the character work for Dominion. Now, in relation to Jurassic Park 3, Sam was told by the interviewer that he personally felt like Jurassic Park 3 was a very underrated movie and that there was even a positive write-up for it in a separate Rotten Tomatoes related book. Now what's interesting about Sam Neill's response here is that he actually goes into detail about how the Alan Grant character has been somewhat of a challenge for him to crack and how he spoke with Chris Pratt a lot about how an actor should take on that kind of a role. Speaking about JP3, Sam said, quote, that's good, I'm pleased to know that. I was talking to someone just prior to you. We were talking about the genesis of how I came to be in the first one, and in passing, I said I hadn't really worked out how to be that kind of action hero back then. It's a particular job, and there are some people who are good at it, and some people aren't. The job description is be an action hero in the movie, and I hadn't worked out what that job is. I'd always approached movies as play this character. But actually, when you've got an action movie, there's a different job description. Chris Pratt, I spoke to him at length about this. He's very good at it, and he's really considered it and worked out what you need to do. And I hadn't really worked out how to do that until I got to number three, but I think I'm actually better in the third one. I don't think it ends so well, it ends in a hurry, but I agree. I think it comes in for quite a bit of criticism and that it's dismissed too easily. I think it's actually, apart from the last 10 minutes, I think it's actually really pretty damn good. As someone who obviously grew up with Jurassic Park and later went on to love Jurassic World, I really love the fact that Sam is speaking honestly here about not only what he thinks of JP3, but also how it was a bit of a challenge for him to play a quote, action hero, but as a kid that grew up watching Jurassic Park, I always saw Grant as a pretty capable and well-rounded hero, particularly in small bits of the film that have that iconography of just straight up manliness, like the moment Spielberg focuses on Alan Grant pumping the Spaz 12 before saying, it's just the two raptors, right? But hey, that's just me. It's good to know that Sam was able to get more comfortable with himself in Jurassic Park 3, where he also does similar action-y things, like the whole shooting the flare at the Spinosaurus. And I also think it's cool that he's had long talks with Chris Pratt on how to approach this sort of thing in the Jurassic movies. As a fan, that's very fun and very wholesome for me to hear. I do agree with him that I wish Jurassic Park 3 had ended with something a bit less hurried in the last bit of the film. The Pteranodon scene I still think is one of the best action set pieces in the franchise, but had they have kept that Spinosaurus versus Raptor pack idea for the ending, I think it would have gone out with a way bigger bang. Now, jumping off of this, Sam went on to talk about Dominion and specifically what it was like for that character, Alan Grant, to return to that world. And this is where Sam had a lot of really cool things to say. Quote, it was very interesting to come back into a different world and a lot of things have evolved, perhaps not to Alan's liking. And again, there he is in tandem with Ellie Sattler. And God almighty, it's Ian Malcolm again. So there are a lot of comic possibilities out of all of that. Laura Dern and Jeff Goldblum are dear friends. I am very happy to be back in their company, which was much more substantive than any of us had imagined because we were effectively locked down for the duration and we were very much dependent on each other's company for laughs and for morale. And Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard are just great. Mama Duathi and DeWanda Wise too. It was a really great bunch actually on that film and I felt very fortunate to be there, particularly as so many of my friends and colleagues went completely off work last year and in fact their whole careers and lives are in a powerless position. I was bloody lucky to be there, very fortunate. 
Sam Neill seems like such a wholesome guy. He's like, there, there's nothing negative you could possibly say when he's got such a positive and giving attitude and just nice attitude like that. But going on from what he actually said, uh, that small moment where Sam says that Grant is returning to the franchise in a quote, different world. That's very interesting to me because he goes on to say that it has evolved and it's perhaps not to Alan Grant's liking, which I think pretty much falls in line with how we'd expect the paleontologist to act after seeing parts one and three. He talks about a lot of comic possibilities with Ellie and Ian, which obviously, having seen Jurassic Park, I think it's easy for all of us to understand why and what he's talking about, but I think the idea of Grant being very much so opposed to the saving of the dinosaurs from Isla Nublar in the last film could put him at odds with characters like Owen and Claire. Granted, I know that Owen Grady didn't really want to rescue any of the dinosaurs and that his main motivation in Fallen Kingdom was simply to save Blue. But Claire, Claire is someone who I can imagine represents exactly the same kind of mindset that John Hammond had in Jurassic Park, which is something that I think Alan Grant could really viciously oppose. There could be some deeper through line here about how these creatures are not monsters like Grant calls them out as being in Jurassic Park 3, but rather the animals that he has dedicated his life to studying in the field and all of the other films. And in Jurassic Park, he calls them animals as well. So from here going forward, I think the filmmakers have a lot of good possibilities here to explore in this new adventure. Not to Alan Grant's liking. That's pretty cool. Uh, that's, that's exactly the kind of Grant I want to see, and it's exactly the kind of Grant that I think it's just realistic if Alan Grant did not endorse the park and if Alan Grant did not want to get knocked out on that plane why is he gonna like dinosaurs all over the world it's good to know that Alan will be going along with Malcolm and Sattler once more in a Jurassic movie and it's even more reassuring to me for Sam Neill to have had talks with Chris Pratt about being an action hero because that means that and we already did know this but it means that these characters aren't just going to be sitting around and not spending their screen time running away from dinosaurs or interacting with the animals, which is at the end of the day, it's something that I think we all come to Jurassic Park movies to see. Having Sam Neill back as Alan Grant in Jurassic World Dominion is going to be very fun for me, and seeing him get all grumpy about the idea of someone setting loose all of the, quote, genetic theme park monsters from Fallen Kingdom is just one part of why I think it's an entertaining idea. How Grant evolves in this film is anybody's guess, but I really am looking forward to seeing this final chapter of Colin's planned out trilogy as soon as possible. June 2022 can't come soon enough. Anyways guys, what are all of your thoughts on this information from Sam Neill? It's cool to know that he actually does stick up for Jurassic Park 3, even though he admits that the end of the movie could have been a bit better. And it's also really cool for me to hear that he's been talking with Chris Pratt on how to approach a more action-oriented character. I really hope if Grant survives this, they keep him around for future uh, movies in the series. I don't know why, but that image, I, I've got this image in my head of like Alan Grant and Owen Grady that I just, I wanna see. It's like watching Sean Connery and Harrison Ford in The Last Crusade. It's exciting to me. <laughs> Anyways guys, whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear them. In the comments down below. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Guys, it seriously means the world to me that you all continue to support what I do, and I never want you to ever forget that. Now, I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video, and hope you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you all in the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.